did it. We got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. <sighs> Chloe. Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, to Warren. Get to Rachel. Let's go now. Chloe, wait, listen. I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan's Nathan is dead. dead. And you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Thank you for at least listening. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan and... Get money! Get it's money. Jefferson's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this, and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! Oh, you almost had her, Max. I can still do this. Fine. Excuse me, I'm going to that... Chloe, too dangerous. You can't get revenge if you're dead. It doesn't matter. I have to make Nathan pay for what he did to Rachel. Nathan and didn't do it, you back. dumb. Chloe! <sighs> if I'm totally strong and honest, she'll listen. I'm her Fine. best friend. Now, excuse me. Nathan is Nathan's dead. Fucker is already yep. because yep. you please tell Jefferson's a Mark psychopath. Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. Chloe! I should never have run away from you like I did when we left Arcadia Bay. I know I hurt you. All I ever wanted was to make it up to you. Please don't run away from me. Max, I'm Please. not running from you. This is when I need you the most. This is how to make everything up to me. With your power and my gun, nothing in the universe can stop us now, Max. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm going to do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is going to turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? <sighs> I fucked up, honest. Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? I was able to go back in time to the last no! day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And... You, you were in pain. You were slowly dying. And you... You asked me to... End your life. I did. For you. I... I didn't want you to suffer in any other timeline or reality. I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I'm... I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. Yeah, you jerk. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. 
Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Mm. He saved Chloe, me. David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. And then they made out violently. Yay, we called him. And then they fought. Not really. He was actually the smart guy and called in backup, like a smart person, instead of be stupid, like a stupid person. So we're going to face the tornado together. Oh, Chloe! I see that the real Max is back. So how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive, oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked, it actually worked. You're with me again. It looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And you traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it, but I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Oh, shut up. Come on. I'm Goodness. the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. I'm nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you Not weren't, exactly you're kind warrior, yeah. and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special and adventure, but not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we ever, were meant ever, to ever, be ever, together. Ever, ever. At this exact moment in history, I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is it stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on it. Oh God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. A weird way to put it, but sure. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. Uh, Chloe. 
I've got your back, Rex. And it's actually vibrating. Whoa. Oh. Alfred Hitchcock famously called film little pieces of time. I I'm back in class. As he what the hell? Us. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory and our Have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This Color might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this is messed up. Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and go, don't Bueller. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces, I feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. Uh, she saw humanity as torture. Uh, What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares? Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any. Can I just rewind that entirely? There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. I feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. I'm gonna cue it. What? Maxine, you keep effing up, like messing up. How many times does Chloe have to die in front of you? Maybe it would be better if I'd act like, if you'd actually, you know, have a life. Always take the shot. Go. What did everyone ever do to you? Take a selfie. Take a selfie. Oh, you're running out. Da, 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 da. Okay. Huh. Oh, this is weird. Max, we have a surveillance video of you overdosing Chloe. You cannot escape now. There's no reality where you can hide now. Don't you dare underestimate me, you hear? Samuel, good evening, young Max. The squirrels talk to me, uh, but how can you? Samuel has no phone. That's weird. Hi, Max. Rachel Amber here. Just wanted to introduce myself. I'll be seeing you soon. Real soon. Ugh. Pompadoo. Beep. Hey, bitch, do not mess with Frank or me. Got any snacks? Aw, Pompadou. Oh, Nathan. Max, I love your photo shoot with Jefferson. He absolutely captured you. If you, uh, if you want, we can hang out and get high. I want to get a little high. Um, that was weird. Shit. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. But no sign of Kate. The correct use of colors. Oh, that's too creepy. Nope. Time to save what? Oh. I'm sorry, Kate. That's not her fault. Not yet, you bastard. Uh, what's this? Why is it the only thing that's normal in this entire thing? Oh, stuff. Um, neat. I'm confused. Oh, pictures. Rachel didn't deserve any of this. Oh. Uh. Oh, no. Oh. Um. I'm not going to take the bait. Every day is zeros. Huh. Well, time I to see leave. You, Caulfield. Don't even think uh, about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Nope. 
I hate you. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. No. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. Um. Uh... This sucks. Um. Sure. My whatever. selfies are shit. I need to be framed by a real artist. I'm just a poser. Yes. You will be posing. For me. There's so many angles I want to expose you with to the world. I hope you That's don't mind needles or duct tape. can't be real. I don't believe it. Time to get GTFO. Well. Oh no, not a moment like Silent Hills. Um uh, Time to go now. Hey, thanks. Nope. Hey, Kate. Max. How could you let me jump off a roof? You first were off, the I tried. only person I trusted here. But you okay, never first off. really listened to me. Now I'm never going to heaven. Instead, you've stuck me in hell. Alone forever. No, uh -uh. Kate. I, I was only trying to save you. No, you dumb. Eh. Oh, so you can never rewind that. Okay. Oh man, Silent Hills. Knock that off. So rude. Hey, door. Hello. Going to look for the police. Um. Oh, wait. Um. Let's just go to Max's room. Ba 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 da. Sure. Well, poop. Hmm. Let's go with Kate then. And I walk away. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, this is getting confusing. I don't get it. Are you supposed to go down the line? Uh, I guess this again, then. Just, I guess I'm just going to keep going through doors. Never ends. I, I better find something. Find him. What's this? No. Damn it. Hmm. I'm gonna assume this door. Oh, I think I just thought of it.
gonna try this again. Maybe I'm supposed to go backwards. This is convoluted. Or maybe I'm overthinking this. Hmm. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna try the one last door to the end. Wait. Oh. Oh. 218. Uh, that's that. That's 19. 18! There we go. Oh. So, it has a squiggly of that. Tara, Garcia, Kelly. Oh. Rachel Amber. Huh. Okay. I guess I'm going. Wait. I think it's. Oh, it was two twenty one. <laughs> yeah, it's two twenty one. And I walk away. What does that say? Eh, whatever. This one is for Samuel. Giant squirrels. That's amazing. Ah! What was that? I thought I saw something. Hmm. Oof. 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 My ultimate enemy. Oh, and she's speaking backwards. What? Um, what's going on? I'm confused. Oh, everything is back. That sucks. Deer, mystical deer. This is weird. This is weirding me out. Even though it's everything from just the beginning of the game, but everything's just reverse. Oh. Don't try to hide, Max. Get over here. Let me no. capture you. You. Jefferson is coming after me again. Do you know? Be so pure. Be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Okay, thanks. No, bye. Douche. Come on, that's Jesus. cheating. The only place I... Hey. There's two of them!
Yeah, I can cheat, by the way. The die. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my is in the dark room. Ugh, you're annoying. What happened to you? To your spark, Max. I thought I could be your professor for life. No one wants that. You're creepy. Creepy, eh? creepy fool. I realize now you'll never be Good honest. evening, Blackwell. This is Principal Well. And I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. Hmm. Attention. I wait, Max. Hey. Attention. Cheating the system. That one of your fellow classmates, Maxine Caulfield, has died under tragic circumstances. Max. Ah. Uh. Your fellow classmates, Maxine Caulfield, has died. You're a monster. Max. Max, where are you? Max, come out to play. Come out to play. See, I knew you were going to make that reference. Hey, baby. Who wants to go ape? Go ape, go ape, baby. God, you sound like you're trying to rape. You monster. Keeping that skull you take my wheels, instead of Max. Max. You dig my wheel. I knew I should stop. No. Baby. Hey. Nope. Max. Nope. Hey. Nope. Max. Nope. Night. Stop. Nope. All night. Playing Metal Gear Solid. How can I tell Max's parents that she's. Uh oh. Hold on, Max. Nope. Max. I found out. Nope. Admit it. Who are you? Okay, bye. Oh, this part. This part sucks. Bony ass over here. I'm gonna cut you if open. You could have seen. Yeah. Mm. If you say your penis, I'm gonna freaking ship you. Well, these ones aren't too hard to find. I deserve to die, Max. Me and Rachel are floating down here in the sewer. Come on down. Okay. Oh, stop, Max! Rug up Rachel's body. Oh, no, 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 Kill you. Since Kate isn't around anymore, I need a volunteer for the dark room. I hate you so much. 
Oh, You're such a monster. Bad bottle karma. Max. Nope. Max. I gotta find. I don't know. Max. Nope. Get back there, you monster. Nope. Nope. I love misusing this. <sighs> Nobody ever helped me, Max. Especially you. Well, first off, you deserve like you you're kinda insane, you have daddy issues. So it ain't my problem it's gonna that your so daddy can Is there one more left? Your carcass next to Rachel. Uh. I need to figure out where is the last bottle. Oh, well, I found it. Huh. Please let that be the last one. It better be. Oh, it was, huh? Taking I need a photo. Proof that bottles were out to get me, just in case. Just in case. Oh. Oh. Nope. Do I do I just sit down? Do I just chill out? What am? Wait, what? What am I doing? Wow. Oh. It's Christmas! Very sad one, too. <sighs> Whatever. Made in Taiwan. Don't you dare question me, Jack. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am. When your mom is away, I'll let her know that. <sighs> Darn it. Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two wind. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the safe lot. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to waste You are ridiculous. Upon. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Huh. Oh, it's us. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Aha! You can't hide from me forever! Now lock up after every Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max want to take things that can William. Hey Max, would you say hi to Chloe and Joyce? Don't forget to remind them that you let me die. Oh fuck, you fud. You're a jerk. That's mean. You're mean. How long eh. will this nightmare go on? Forever and ever. Yeah. I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. Retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber. But not Max. I don't care. Max is a fucking child. Oh, Christ. You're I know. And she never shuts up, does she? All the time! I'm so over her hipster bullshit. I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Holy shit, Warren. Max is trying to play us both. I guess she's not as innocent as she acts. Not when she's trying to hook up with both of us. I only want to go ape with you, Chloe. Come here. God damn, you are a sexy bitch. 
Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. Oh, shit. Look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shaka bra. Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. Not a little girl like Max. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. I can't <sighs> believe it took us so long to hook up. I support this 100%, even though Why it's awkward. Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead, and you're still alive. Life is so not fair. I wish you would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. You're the jerk. And that was an awkward pause. <laughs> and looking around. And look at the background. Nope. Okay. I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. And you. Nope. Oh, this is not fair. Oh, oh wait. Great. Numbers are all over the place. 11 How will zero, three, 11. Easily. 0 Wait. What was it? What was it? Yeah. 0 3 11. Okay, so zero, one, two, three, one, and one. Neat. Haha, <laughs> first try. Don't kill us, Max. I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Right when I was flying to California. Oh, that's depressing. Shit, Max. I thought we were on the same team. Puppy. Now I'll die alone. Max, I hope you do the right thing. I hope. I can't believe you kissed me. Now you're going to kill me? Max, please save us. Save the Bigfoots, Max. Please. Honey, I always thought of you like a daughter. And now you're gonna take me away from my family. Why would you do that? Max. <laughs> You're exactly the kind of soldier I'd want by my side in a war. Son of a bitch, this is gonna hurt. So this is how Max gets her revenge on. Max, you saved my life. Gave me the chance to catch one more fish. Thanks for that warning, Max. You treated me like a human, not like trash. I sure hope you do that for everybody in town. I hate you all. Honey, I always break thought her, of you her. like a dog. Thanks for saving me and carrying the load, good buddy. That's a big 10-4. This is some shit that you know. Last I was on Earth. I know I haven't been the best principal to you, but you've been a great everyday hero for us. Please see us. My husband and new baby will have to go without me. Max, don't let the squirrels die. I wish we had been friends, Max. But please, don't let me die like this. I'm still a teenager. Don't let the squirrels die. You've always had my back, and now you're going to let me die? Thanks, Shut Max. Up. You're a jerk. Please, Max, don't kill me so what we can exactly finally have our tea session. You're gonna let me die. Know how much confidence you gave me. Nobody ever did that for me. I survived poverty and an abusive family just so I can end up here to die. Who. Who are you? Holy shit, are you serial? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of oh. here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? Yes. I tried, I tried to, help. to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. 
No, kinda. you only wanted to be popular. No. Oh, and once you got well, these kinda. amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you'd give a rat's ass. Mm. No, I do, I do care. care. That's why I was trying to make friends. By telling people what they want to hear? <laughs> you were just looking for a shortcut because you can't make friends on your own. That's not no, true. No, Kate was my friend. I have great friends. And I've used my powers for good. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe. <laughs> you think she's worth all that? Oh, we all we're worth. Are. This isn't about Chloe or even me anymore. Gosh, you're so selfless now, Mahatma Max. It's too bad you pissed your power away on high school drama. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she has any feelings for us? You're just another puppet. Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy. Oh hell, speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. Yep, yep. This song fucking rules. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. Oh my god. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. Let's talk about your superpower. Epic! I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Welcome to my domain. Max, you better come check out these files. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your cowabunga! Why, look, an otter in my water. Your power has changed. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. 
Hide. Photo bomb. Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn. You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? I know. Just daydreaming. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Dude, I am so lucky that my father is cool. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> it's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. But the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you- Chloe! You're back! I'm just- I'm just- I'm so glad you're here. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with- Rachel! No, Rachel, no, no, please, not her! Chloe! <laughs> Rachel, what? Come on, Max, we're Come almost on, there! We're almost there! Can you hear me? Please say something. Chloe, I, I must have passed out. Thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. My storm! I caused this! I caused all of this! I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything! And all I really created was just death and destruction! Fuck all of that, okay? You were given a power, you didn't ask for it, and you saved me! Which had to happen, all of this did! Except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her! Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. Max. This is the only way. I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... You could use that photo... to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take... is for me to... 
to... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You proved that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... my stepfather deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Okay, so this part is pretty much the ending. You get two endings. One's, one is the most obvious choice, even though it shouldn't be. Eh, um, let everyone die or let Chloe die. That is the scariest decision. Let one die for many others to live or let many others live. I mean, many others die to let one person live. Honestly, this is this is my honest opinion. I would pick to sacrifice Chloe. The real reason why is um cuz we gain these powers just to save her. But at the long run of things, she's done so much to for us to just change time and space for just for her. I know she's special to Max. I know that's it's important to save those that you consider the most closest to you of all. But letting so many other people, letting someone that you literally fell in love with, either male or female, or family, just die. It's hard. I. This is why I am gonna at least admit my personal opinion right now that I would pick Sacrifice Chloe. But. To end this off, since these two were always so close together forever, I choose sacrificing a Arcadia Bay. Max. It's time. Not anymore. Always be with you. Forever. Oh, real quick. I know this ruins it. Leave me alone. Just in case. I mean, we saved a lot of people so that a lot of other people could escape, so in a way we did save a lot of people, but then there, we let a lot of people die because of this action. And there goes Chloe's mom, and Frank, and Warren.
we just pretty much let everyone else freaking die. Because we just did. Yeah, so we just let everyone die because of this, but it, I don't know. <sighs> Whatever. Friendship. Love. Whatever you want to put it, but... Maybe people survived. Maybe Warren didn't die. Maybe Chloe's mom didn't kill, like, kill over. <sighs> the Prescott's are ruined. Officially. Whales are dead. World didn't end. Ah, at least the diner is not gone. Hey, deers are alive though. But um, okay. So there's I don't know the real reason why I wanted to pick this ending was I never saw this ending. I I already saw the other one with uh Mr. Chaotic or Chaotic Monkey. I just wanted to see this one, I mean, see how this went, even though we just basically let everyone die. We're monsters. <sighs> oh well, we did it. We saved the day. Even though I just thought we basically, like, you know, just, we've drawn this out. So that if it happens again, it there's more people that are gonna fall. I mean, more people are gonna die with this because of this action, actually. Together. But yes. There wasn't there wasn't really anything left for them to say, but achievement unlocked, fifty five achievement points, whatever, polarized. And that was the last episode. Episode five, polarized. So, my honest opinion. It was alright. It wasn't it wasn't amazing. It wasn't one of those game-changing kind of games. Like, honestly, <laughs> cheaper and older games like To the Moon or any of those, I don't know. They, they make it into a higher tier than this game. It was more or less there was a lot of cheesy things. A lot of things that my friends enjoyed, a lot of the things I enjoyed, but eh. Kind of hoped there was something else better, but you know what? Square Enix at least did something new. They tried to do what Tall Tale does, like, literally all their games. But it was a cool thing that they, like, they made this. This is a cool attempt for something, so I'm glad that I got to play it. I will very likely play any other game that's kind of like this soon. Because I still need to play, like, The Wolf Among Us the Walking Dead games, not the terrible zombie survival one. Um, I don't know, there's just, there are plenty of uh, games that are like in this kind of format that um, I'll, I'll probably go and play. But for now, with the ending of this, the, I mean, it creates new opportunities for new games to come out. I mean, new uh, Let's Plays after this one. Um, already have one apparently set, even though originally it wasn't going to be set, but you know, reasons, raisins, and uh, the ending of this game. <sighs> yeah, so there's nothing really else other than, I guess, a little bit of proper criticism with like how the character models looked. Whenever they're far, it's fine, but whenever they're up close, you can see, like, the ew stuff. Like, you know, the nasty, how literally the eyelash looks like it's a piece of meat, like, hanging. Like, they had a birth effect. I mean, defect. Sorry, I'm like, again, this is just my opinion. It's 
anyone can enjoy this game no matter what how like how it looks it was a decent game it was enjoyable it was enjoyable no matter how you cut it um and yeah i don't know uh voice acting neat nothing like none none of them like were literally above and beyond that made me like god i really like that voice actor but uh yeah i don't know what else to put it man but without further ado let's end this so you decided to sacrifice arcadia bay and i am yeah you reported to nathan all right but yeah Yeah, I thought so. Alright. If you have been affected by any of the themes in Life is Strange, please visit www.lifeisstrange.com slash talk. Meaning like okay, that's actually very useful that like they had some like they had something like a chat, like a form. Thank you for playing Life is Strange. Season one for future Life is Strange news, sign up to... Wait, what? Season 1. No. No! No! Okay, whatever. But <laughs> I don't know. Um, It was fun. Um, There's nothing really else to say other than try out the game yourself. Honestly, in my opinion, uh, nowadays people either give, uh, like, good or bad comments on it but in my realistic opinion based off like do not base your opinions on any game or movie just on a review try to you know watch it or play it yourself don't do not base it solely on reviews or let's plays or any of that i mean if you see the game and you think the gameplay is terrible then of course but that is your opinion do not let either me, PewDiePie, Markiplier, Cryonic, or any of these YouTubers affect this game or any game that you enjoy playing. Don't let anyone, period, affect how you love to play a specific game. So for now, I'm going to at least end this series off. In the next series, hopefully it's going to be good. Hopefully I will entertain you guys more. If not, well, sorry. <laughs> I have a lot to learn. But thank you guys very... See, look at me. I'm stupid and terrible, and I know I'm not going to edit that part out. Because I just, I don't know, I want it uncut and have this to be the real me. But thank you guys very much for at least watching this video. If you like these or any of this series itself, consider liking, maybe commenting. I'd very much appreciate it if you subscribe. But if not, again, thank you in advance for at least just watching or just putting down your input of the game, how I am terrible at this, just whatever. So for now, I'll see you guys in another recorded series. Until then, Johnny. See you later.